Welcome back to Worthington Model Railway. Uh, today I'm going to talk a little bit about building a cattle dock. Uh, I produced those videos on cattle wagons not that long ago, got some good comments and feedback on that, and I went, well, wait a minute, I'm running cattle wagons, I should have a cattle dock. So uh, let's look at how I'm going to build the cattle dock. start on my cattle dock journey here um, I have some photos that I printed out um, this one's actually of a of a model um, and then this is an actual these are these are real cattle docks um, and then I have another model one here if I can find it so um, I'm just going to use these kind of as a guide uh, I know pretty much what I want to do here my cattle dock's going to be just slightly different because of the space I have to get it into. Um, I have some of these plastic kits uh, that have gates on them, so uh, I'm going to be using some of those gates. Uh, save me trying to scratch build those. Um, this is what I'm going to be using the stone effect. Uh, we'll use this for the uh, for the base of the cattle dock. Um, I get some Pico platform pieces here uh, for making platforms which come complete with some stone stuff so um, we will use those too and, uh, and the other thing I'm going to need is I'm going to need some card and I'm probably going to need some uh, stone wall effect I'm going to probably use some Metcalf platform stuff um, let me go grab that. The Metcalf platform kit, and we're probably going to steal some stuff out of here as well to use um, as I go through this. But uh, we will see what we need to do, and I just need some plain card, and that's what I'm actually going to start with. I'm starting here with some sheets of uh, heavy duty card, and I'm going to start off by cutting a piece of this card, and uh, this is three and a half inches, and three and a half inches is also what I need to fill the gap between the rails so uh, let's uh, start off by measuring and cutting out the card and I'm going to stick this on too so I'll just uh, Sharp knife, steel rule. Now, before I go any further, um, I just realized that this platform is going to add a little extra on each side and uh, need to make sure that my width is going to work for my track so I'm just going to go measure that again up on the uh, layout. Well, having measured it, it's, it's going to work out. Um, I may have to cut a tiny bit of the cork back to get it to fit anyway but uh, I'm going to be good. So um, I want the cattle dock to be the length of these just because it's the easiest simple way to do it so um, and we're going to cut these to go on the end on one end at least uh, the other end we will work out how we're going to do that because we have to have a, a ramp up on the other end now a lot of cattle docks sometimes have the ramp to the side my ramp is going to come here looking at prototypes they're all different anyway so it's not really going to be a big deal Gonna need strengtheners underneath, and they need to be the size, basically the size to there. Let's cut my 
myself a couple of strengtheners. And what we have to do with these strengtheners is score them. So I can get uh, a sort of angle piece on here like this. Doesn't really matter where. Just gives an ability to be able to shape them underneath. So. <clears throat> Take my uh, my top. And get some glue. Start off by gluing these strengtheners in place. sticks up. Here we go. One of the things I like about the uh, rocket card glue is it sets up pretty quickly. Okay, now I need to glue these on. Not sure if this card glue is going to work, but we'll try. <coughs> if the card glue doesn't work, we'll try something different. Problem being, of course, that Kind of glue card to plastic here. Cut this plastic off here. I don't want it. We'll do the same on this end. And then we'll take a piece here, measure it, basically comes to that point there. Use the sprue cutters again. Oops. Didn't do the best job there, but we can. Straighten that up. The thing is, I need to cut these ends off. Of course, I cut that short. Okay, so um, let me resolve that by using a piece of this for this end. Let's cut it here. Try to use a knife this time. There we go.
kind of see what the problem is here. Um, Excess glue here that I can use up. All right, let's try again. <coughs> Measure this properly this time. card for this ramp Use the existing straight line because the other one did not look straight. Okay. Obviously, do not want a ramp as long as this. Thinking probably. Good. Yep, that looks good. So now we'll measure this. The first thing I'm going to do is cut the end. Again, I don't know if this will stick this, but we'll try it and see. Okay, let me uh, try a few clamps on that. <coughs> so now it's stuck. Um, I just stuck this on the bottom with a piece of card and I need to now make the side rails so let's uh, just draw them out on the card Mm -hmm. 
It should be uh, fairly easy to do the other one by... And the other thing I need to do is uh, cut out two pieces of this. <clears throat> now, just need to okay, and uh, that was a stupid move. That's that way. This one needs to go this way. The new battery in the camera. Um, you can see that I completed most of the fencing and uh, this thing is kind of getting towards you know done on a first pass uh, I'm gonna have to do some weathering and uh, add some tufts of grass and a few other things but uh, certainly is coming together and this is where this is gonna go um, obviously I've get to to get it finished here get it uh, landscaped and uh, See the cows are up there on the farm, so they'll be able to come down and get on here. A few other things I need to get done. So anyway, this piece is kind of ready to go. So I wanted to add some detail to the cattle dock. Um, one of the things you usually will see in a cattle dock are uh, um, troughs, you know, water troughs. Um, I haven't talked much about the fact that I did recently get a 3D printer and uh, I was able to find a horse trough on Thingiverse. It comes in kind of two places. It's a sort of a stone trough which goes together like this. So we'll add um, a couple of these. Uh, hand holding the camera to get a better look at these sort of closer up. Um, they are supposed to be they are stone. Uh, they look pretty good. I don't actually think I'm going to paint them. I'm just going to leave them as they are. I think they'll look fine like that. Now the other thing is you've seen previous videos where I've used and made these tufts. Uh, I'm going to put some of these tufts onto the dock. If I look at the photographs I have of uh, actual docks, there's usually quite a lot of sort of grassy tufts around the edges of them so uh, I'm gonna put some of these in place on the dock so let's do that next. So as I've been wont to do uh, I forgot to turn the camera on um, as you can see I added these grassy tufts it's just a little dab of white glue and uh, and I use a pair of tweezers to put the uh, stuff in place so it, it's real easy you just get the tweezers um, you pull off these tufts I say um, a dab of white glue and we just put the tufts in wherever we need to go um, so not nothing difficult there and again um, I just glued down these two horse troughs that I showed you earlier and I for a little interest I added a little lamp here um, the lamp can be wired up has a little LED in there so at some point we'll get that wired up as well so it adds a little more interest uh, the next thing I need to do is I need to uh, make this a little muddier um, obviously if it's going to have cows coming across it even though there the, this uh, material I used for the bottom here and people were asking me what I used um, and the answer is I used uh, this which is uh, it comes from Gooch Enterprises it's a flexible stone wall actually but it kind of looks like cobbling so um, that's what I've used um, and, uh, you know, it has a bit of dirt in there, but I think particularly on up here, I'm going to put a little bit of brown and make it look like there's mud around because I feel like there would be mud. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And I will leave the camera running, hopefully. And the battery is not going to die because I just put a new battery in. So uh, all I need to do is make up some wash. Um, have some brown paint here, which needs uh, probably... And I need new brown paint in there because that one is dried out, but I need to get some water. Okay, I will come back and I promise I'll turn the camera on.
I'm just going to take some of this uh, darker brown paint and throw it in here. I already have quite a bit of water in here because I want to wash this. I want to make a brown wash. I don't want it to be very thick. Um, and uh, I'm going to brush here. As you see, this is just like a brown wash, so just sort of almost dry brush this on, make it look like there's a, a muddy path down the middle here. Same on this side of the gate. We'll put that There's mud pretty much all over in here. Um, maybe a little bit heavier by the gates. <clears throat> and I think we are about done. So let's... Uh, Take a closer look at this. So all I need now is some cows, um, which are on the way. And I also need to landscape the area on the layout uh, where it's going to go when it when it's all finished. But uh, I'm generally pretty happy with the result here. Uh, not a ton of work to get this done. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, fun little project. Hopefully it showed you how easy it is to, to do some of these things. You know, you can pick up these components in a model store. It doesn't take much to put them together. I guess that I probably did this for less than, less than five, six pounds, ten dollars. Um, and uh, it was fun. Uh, sorry for the, the camera work in a couple of places. Uh, I need to uh, make sure that I turn the camera on. Uh, but otherwise, I think it's fun. Uh, by the way, please like and subscribe. You can subscribe with the button to the top right. And subscription is free. I saw something recently uh, from Charlie on Chadwick uh, that uh, somebody thought they had to pay to subscribe. You don't have to pay to, sus to subscribe. It's free. Um, so please subscribe to the channel. Thanks.